So if I take a look at this one here, we have the, you know, the digital PWM. And this is the symbol of it, okay? Uh, for that, this is the symbol TELDA. A pulse with modulation. What we are going to try, uh, what we are going to do now is uh, utilize those pins, okay? Like this, 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, or 11. And uh, take advantage of it. Um, what's good about this kind of modulation, it is... Uh, gonna increase the pulse so rather than having let's say zero then one i can uh, make it uh, i can prolong that if i take a look at um, another uh, you know diagram here maybe it can be easier to see okay so let's assume um okay let's uh, let's take a look at that Let's say, hey, we have typically, uh, you know, zero, um, let's say zero and one, okay? This is typical. Forget about this uh, duty cycle. I'm not going to enter into that subject now. But let's say we typically have a one, then zero. Then you give me one, uh, then zero. The problem in, uh, in digital, usually it is zero, one, zero, one, okay? And it depends uh, how long you want to, you know, uh, delay it. So let's say I delay uh, zero here for uh, five uh, uh, seconds. I can uh, also push this output, uh, five volts, to delay more. Okay? So this is my voltage here, the y-axis. Okay, here it is zero. Here it is one. As... Uh, as I'm going, you know, with this here, you can see I can uh, increase, I start incre increasing the pulse. Why I want to go uh, just zero, then one. I can make it zero, then I go a little bit, uh, you know, this is time. I can make it, keep it five volt for, let's say, a millisecond. Then it can go off, then I can keep it, okay a little bit more to a point i can do the following okay this is 100 percent to recycle it is okay a full full pulse width okay that's why we say width okay this is a, this is a very nice uh, stuff here keeping in mind that you know, we are dealing with analog uh, signal, and I'm trying to make it uh, look like what uh, digital. So uh, it is not in the beginning digital, and I want to make it uh, analog. No, usually it is analog. Okay, uh, this uh, green stuff, as I said, it is uh, you know the time. Let's say two milliseconds. Okay, uh, and uh, I have the analog signal. Uh, by the analog signal, you know I'm. I can control, you know, so it's like, hey, they say, uh, to get familiar with the uh, technical, uh, you know, stuff here, it's a technique uh, for getting analog results with digital means. Okay, what does digital mean? Digital control is used to create a square wave. And as you know, analog signal is not a square wave, okay? Uh, so using this technique, I can get this, this nice shape okay and more than that i can prolong that okay i can control it like this is 25 psych 25 percent this is 50 this is 70 this is 100 and uh, how do i deal with that in arduino there is a function we call it analog right okay analog right based on the parameters i'm giving uh, it, it varies from 0 to 25 so if i go back to my code here this is my code. This is the way it is, you know, uh, zero all the way to 255, uh, 255. Uh, where I'm using that, I'm using it in this uh, nice function, you know, analog, analog, right, okay, analog, right. Uh, so whenever I'm using or I'm dealing with the PWM, I'm going to be using such kind of... Uh, functions called analog right 
And the analog right here, I'm picking pin number nine. Okay, we'll come to that here. Uh, but uh, just, uh, you know, uh, to see how nice this is, uh, uh, this is stuff, uh, you know, it is, it's very nice to just pay attention to basically what we are doing. When I started playing with the brightness, okay, which basically the scale of the analog right, I am modulating uh, the uh, pulse. That means I'm changing it, okay? Uh, the pulse is when I have 5 volt. This is a pulse. So when I change the, I modulate the pulse 5 volt, okay? Uh, the more time I keep it 5, the more uh, the LED, let's say, will be on, or the more power I will deliver to my component. So when I start playing with those, it will, let's say, from the beginning zero, then I increase it a little bit, then next uh, loop I will increase it more, more, more. So you can see always that, you know, there is a smooth um, uh, and the gradually, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, dimming or, uh, you know, brightness, uh, you know, on your LED. And uh, because I'm playing with the pulse uh, module, um, if I go back to the code here, okay, uh, they are telling me in the comment here, the, this is a comment, okay, they are telling me, hey, uh, we are going to be using analog right, and uh, this is, uh, uses uh, a PWM, and uh, usually it is for those, it's signed Telda, okay, uh, we can do it on uh, whether 3, pin 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11. It happened here, we picked number nine. If you don't like number number nine, let's say we wanna pick number three or 11 maybe. Okay, let's uh, say 11. I go back to the code here and I select uh, number 11. So my pin now is 11. You can define 11 if you want uh, ahead of time. And this is not anymore nine, this is pin 11 and this is pin 11. So I run the code, I go back here, I can, okay, I can see it, now it's dimmer, okay, brighter, okay. Um, back to the code again, uh, what I'm doing here, first of all, in, I am initializing the value and declaring that brightness is set it to, z to uh, zero. I'm setting the brightness to zero, okay, so I make sure it is equal to zero. Then this is one time scan, the, uh, the compiler will read this once. Uh, the compiler now knows, hey, I'm gonna use pin 11 as an output. The fun part is in the loop because this gonna keep uh, looping, okay? Uh, if the brightness is equal to zero, and I did say it is zero, I set it to zero, okay? Then what we have, brightness, is it, less or uh, equal for uh, to 25 because the maximum of the brightness based on our here tutorial we said it's between the scale is between 0 and 25 25 is the max when the brightness equal 25 i'm always keeping it keeping it on okay uh, the pulse is uh, always 5 volt uh, then i start increasing so if it is 0 and less than uh, less or equal to 20, uh, to uh, 255 uh, the brightness uh, is going to add uh, is going to gain extra 5 um, uh, points so now it is not zero anymore it is what it is uh, 5 it's a pre increment okay it is 5 so here you are telling me whatever the brightness is add five and make it the new value of the brightness. So now the brightness was zero. Now it is zero plus five, okay? Uh, then now here, this will be five. You delay it uh, for 30 uh, milliseconds, okay? So I keep, I keep here, uh, I keep here in this uh, loop doing this one is for increasing and one for degree decreasing the brightness 
just uh, be familiar with these, uh, you know, kind of uh, incremental. You have post-increment, you have uh, pre-increment. Uh, that's why, you, you know, we, we can say we have, uh, for instance, plus, uh, when you are using the loop later on, you're going to see plus, uh, plus uh, I, okay? This is, uh, uh, this is different than I plus plus okay because every uh, every uh, you know this is a pre this is after okay uh, what's the difference in programming it does create a, a difference it depends uh, how how precise you are looking for your uh, results uh, 